Hey everybody, welcome back to today's video. I'm in my in-law's kitchen at the moment, but I have a minute to film this, so I thought I'd do it real quick. When we get home, actually, it is hotter than hot here in Wisconsin today, so once the sun goes down and it cools off a bit, I am going to make dog food. I always make, we have to make homemade dog food for our dog. He has allergies and he's just picky and spoiled, okay? We did start this when he, we first got him when he was a you know, little puppy and there's no going back. He won't eat the kibble unless it's got special stuff in it. Anyway, we've tried a million different ways and concoctions and how we like portion it and how we serve it and things. But I'm trying something totally new and different today and I'm gonna make dog meatloaf. And we're gonna give it a try. So I figured I would bring you along. Um, I've made a couple other videos of dog food that we've made along the way too. But this is gonna be a little different. So when we get home, we're gonna pull out a couple different things and mix it together. Um, so far my plan is I have a five pound brick or tub of ground pork. It was on sale at our discount grocery store for 99 cents a pound. So five pounds of pork for five bucks. And then I'm gonna soak some of his actual kibble. And I think I'm gonna do beef broth because he can't have chicken. So I'm gonna soak it in some beef broth. And then we're gonna do, and then also soak some oats, some oatmeal. Um, and then add whatever kind of veggies and stuff I can toss in there at home. So, and then I'm gonna make it into a, like, a meatloaf, like a giant like sheet pan kind of meatloaf. And that way I can cut in like perfect portions. Um, and then it's a little bit easier and I think cleaner to serve it to him. Um, what we normally do is we put them in, we use, what a, oh, we use like sandwich bags. So I kind of portion out the meals because different people feed him, myself, you know, one of the twins, my husband, different people feed him. And so this way, by portioning it out that way, one, he gets the same amount of each meal. And then two, I know how many meals and days worth of food he has until I have to make more. So this works really well. I'm having my second rib removal surgery coming up next week. So I wanna get enough food made for him for at least two weeks ahead. So at two weeks after surgery, nobody has to think about feeding him for a while. He just has his food. So we bag up and keep a couple days worth in the refrigerator and then we put the rest in the freezer and pull them out as we need them. So that's the plan. As soon as it cools off, we're getting in that kitchen and we're gonna make dog meatloaf. All right, we're back. Now I did remember to soak some. Well, no, I didn't remember, so I had to soak more. Anyway, so I had taken the three, no, what is it? A five pound um, big tub of the ground pork and I split it into three of these nine by 13 tinfoil pans. Um, and then I have two cups of kibble and then just water to, till it got covered. So then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with just this first one. So I have, there's extra water and like broth from the kibble. I'm also gonna put about a cup and a half or so of oats. That'll help soak up some of that water as well. I got some frozen veggies. Now the, they were just a great sale, but only a couple were available. So I got some green beans and peas. That's all I have. So, let's see, we're going to do most of the bag of green beans, because I have an odd number. So, they're going to get a three quarter of a bag of pound of green beans, an entire, is this a pound, oh, 12 ounces of sweet peas. Then, I think that might be all that I put in here. I think if I have any peanut butter powder I'll probably have that too otherwise I think that might be it and then I'm just gonna get all three of these filled up what am I missing I do oh cool then I'll put some peanut butter powder in here as well he can't have eggs otherwise that'd be a great addition but he can't have that so I'm gonna go ahead and get all these done like I have this first one and then we got to get them all mixed together that's gonna be the gross part but we can do it all right, of course, these are super full. So Jake came over and got them all mixed for me. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I've never made dog meatloaf before, so we're doing it. So there's all three pans. 
and uh, we're going to get them in the oven at like 400 and see how long it takes. I don't know. I'm thinking probably 40 minutes, maybe an hour. They're pretty, pretty big. So we'll just kind of cook it and see how it goes. And then we'll show you how it looks. And then hopefully if we get to it, show you how uh, we like portion it too. All right, we're hard at work. All three dog loaves are done. Here they are. Um, I didn't think about it, but when I came downstairs after these have been cooking for a while, the entire house smelled awful. <laughs> it just smells like dried, or, you know, cooking dog food. But it's fine. So this is what we're doing. We cut it into what? How many pieces? Like twelve pieces or so. About 12 pieces, and each bag is getting a huge chunk of meatloaf, and then we're going to seal it up and put it in the freezer.